Hey guys, this is Tesla's new Model Y L, the new six seat version of their Tesla Model Y. It's much bigger than the existing Model Y. This is what it looks like. It's been seen on the inside as well as the outside. And this car, by the way, is confirmed now that it's going global. This is not a Chinese special. This is actually coming to the United States, Canada, Europe, Australia, and well, basically every country that gets Chinese made EVs, German made EVs. I mean, I'm talking about Tesla making them at Gigafactory Berlin and also Tesla making the cars in China and the Tesla factory in Fremont. A anywhere that gets Teslas, you should be able to get one of these vehicles within the next six months. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Tesla Model Y L. I'm a big fan. I've seen a lot of criticism of it. I don't agree with it. I think that if one of these is priced approximately $5,000 more than the existing Model Y, it's a great option. There is very few cars on the market with huge boot space that this will have when you've got the rear seats folded down. Massive boot space. We're talking about like 1,000 liters of boot space. Enormous. And there's very few cars that you can get with six seats that are affordable EVs. Every, I don't know why the market's been flooded with these mid-size electric SUVs, small to mid-size. Very few options that are affordable. Hyundai Ioniq 9 or Hyundai Ioniq 9, very, I mean, not very, but it's quite expensive, particularly here in Australia and countries that are not the US. Uh, Kia EV9, good car as well, also very expensive. This, in my opinion, is hitting a niche that so many people are after. So what do we know about it? Well, interestingly, we know, obviously, it has six seats. However, we also know it's much bigger. It's nearly five meters long. So yeah, quite a lot longer. Dimensions, it's actually 180 millimeters longer. That's seven inches longer than the existing version. Height is 24 millimeters higher. That's one inch higher than the existing version. And the wheelbase is 150 millimeters uh, longer. That's six inches longer wheelbase. So you can see in this video, this is how the interior will look, showing you, and the video actually shows you the way that the rear seats fold down. I think it would be better if Tesla had a, a seven seat version, but they might. This might be the initial release, six seat version, and then they might do a seven seat version afterwards. I'm going to guess that's a, probably a pretty good chance that will happen. And interestingly, the Model Y L that these vehicles have been seen on transport trucks in China. So it appears as though the launch is imminent to the point where you'll be able to walk into a Tesla store and view one and actually purchase one as well. You can see here these pictures showing you the rear seats being folded down. And I don't know, it's sort of hard to see the size from these photos. But anyway, it does give you an idea on what it looks like on the inside. But this will compete apparently in China with Neo's new EV, the Onvo L90 could be a similar price. Apparently, Neo got around 60,000 pre-orders for the Onvo L90 just because there's not that many seven, six or seven seat electric SUVs. So this will compete on price, I think very favorably with even Chinese electric SUVs, seven seat, six seat SUVs. So we've also seen images of this vehicle in Germany. And uh, yeah, now we've got Fremont, we've got Germany, we've got China covered. Uh, it appears that um, it's not official yet. Tesla hasn't officially said it's going to be a global car, but it very clearly is if it's going to be made in all three of those locations. Anyway, I'm a big fan and I don't understand all the criticism. I think people are saying Tesla should have made a vehicle that looks like a, a truck, looks like an SUV, like a boxy square shaped car, which is obviously going to be quite inefficient. Here's the thing though. This is actually the lightest six seat electric SUV in the world. That's a fact, it is. It's just over 2,000 kilograms. So it's only about 100 kilo, just over 100 kilograms heavier than the five seat version. So that's gonna be a big deal because one of the big calling cards, and I think one of the advantages of owning a Tesla versus some other brands, I'm not gonna go into names. No, I'm gonna go into names. I mean, look, the Kia EV5, it's, it's a 
energy consumption is far higher. It's about 30% higher than a Tesla Model Y. It's a big difference. So I think Tesla really taking advantage of their efficiency, simply making this vehicle a bit, well, quite a bit longer, just a little bit higher, is a really good idea. And I know a lot of people don't like this kind of shaped car. A lot of people think, oh, it kind of looks like a bubble. But actually, this is the most logical type of car shape. And I think that's why Tesla initially made this vehicle. And to be honest, I mean, look, Tesla kind of defined the SUV market with EVs, didn't they? The XPeng G6, same shape, right? That's another popular EV. Uh, the Zika 7X, same shape. Ford Mustang Mach-E, pretty similar shape. Uh, there's so many cars in this sector now that are that shape. And it is a bit weird looking, but um, yeah, like I said, you can get really good efficiency from it and it makes a lot of sense. Range as well. Range, what is the range going to be? Well, apparently around the same as the existing Tesla Model Y, but just around about 5% less. So the existing Model Y, the, the long range version, that actually has approximately 600 kilometers of range the battery size has been increased to 82 kilowatt hours. So the new Model Y will use the same battery and range will be approximately 580 kilometers. So actually a really good figure. EPA range would be around about 350 miles. Thanks for watching, bye-bye. Both the Tesla Model 3 and the Tesla Model Y have had a big range and a massive performance boost. We're talking new batteries here, guys. Tesla have finally, finally put new batteries in the Model Y and the Model 3, and we're seeing a big increase. This, this is a really a pretty game-changing move here from Tesla. Prices have gone up by about $2,000, but um, it's well and truly worth the price rise. I kind of feel like if you've just bought the Model Y Juniper, the Model 3 Highland, you're seeing this, you're thinking to yourself, oh, I'm a bit disappointed because this is a big difference. Big, big difference. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. Great to have you with us. Thank you for subscribing. And also to those of you who have become YouTube members, members of the channel, you do get access to videos that are not on the main channel. I'll put a link in the description. What's this, What's this all about? Okay. Clearly, Tesla have changed the batteries. Finally, using higher energy density batteries in China, this, these improvements only apply to the models made in China, which are sold all around the world, but um, this is not the US made Tesla. I don't know if you guys are gonna see these improvements. You certainly could. It's possible you're still getting batteries from China. Well, I guess you're still getting batteries from Japan, really, aren't you, in the United States? But anyhow, the changes here are huge for people in Australia markets thailand markets that get the chinese made version of the model y and the model 3 of course in the in